this is a little graph of simple and versus complex and loads versus both of the bits. Do you want to have a little look at that? Well, yeah. so, toasters. There's so many names. Yeah. <laughs> like, let's just like for prep, like cross through uh, that. Yeah. Echopraxia. Yeah, echopraxia. <laughs> It's a lot of different little, it's just, little names. Yeah. It's an iceberg. Fuck up! It is an iceberg. Oh. Right, hidden ticks as well are a thing that people don't know. They don't know about, and I didn't know about them until after I was diagnosed and I did a lot more research. So I found out that I've had mental ticks since I was tiny and I had no idea. So I've had OCD from a very young age and I've had mental ticks from a very young age. And for me, that was the word particular. I had particular going round and round in my head, but it was slowed down and said in a different voice to my normal thinking voice, and I had no idea what no. it was. I just, I thought, okay, this is something very weird that's going on, but I had no idea that that was a, a type of tick. Do you have any experience with kind of hidden ticks? Um, mine is more like intrusive thoughts. So when, you know, you see a baby in the pram, most, most of you go, oh, that's cute. I go, well, that survives if I push it up the months to wake up. So there's things like that that I kind of have to, and also um, I'm not racist at all, but I hid myself away for a week after this, and that's because I was walking through town, it was a hot day, and there was a woman with a hijab on, and my partner Charlie had to pull me aside because I was going to drag the hijab off and tell her it's too hot to wear a scarf during summer. So I literally went to the shop that day, and then I didn't come out of my house for a week because I felt awful. But yeah, they're, they're the sort of like ones that... You know, through yeah, well, suggestive ticks. Everyone and uh, just follow the uh, inappropriate suggestions. Or Penis. It's, it's, a, it's weird because it's, 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 it is me, but it's not me. Do you know what I mean? So it's everything that I wouldn't do, and yeah. then my brain goes, "We're going to do it." Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this is a couple of examples of what ticks or tick suppression feels like. So suppression is basically when you try and hold in your ticks. So for me, I can stop my ticks, or I can stop my bigger ticks, for about a minute if I try really hard. But then afterwards, I, well, for the whole time I'm very uncomfortable, and then afterwards I get a big outburst of ticks. <laughs> come out before you feel so. Um, which are like the ticks that I was holding in, they don't all come out at the end. So a lot of people are saying, then, why don't you just suppress all the time? That is you can start with a bottle of fizzy water, isn't it? You can, yeah. You can keep shaking it, shaking it, shaking it, until it's broke. Yeah, that's a very good idea, isn't it? But, but yeah, if you, if you try now, keep your eyes open starts getting uncomfortable and penis penis the stronger you have the urge to blink and then when you blink that's not the hard part the hard part is the build up beforehand yeah. or if you're going to sneeze and try not to sneeze yeah. and people say don't sneeze <laughs> and it's that then uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, the picture in the middle is a painting that i did uh, which represents for me what it feels like to have Tourette's so there's kind of me in the middle trying very hard not to not to tick and to present normally, if you like. Wow. And then there's the ticks kind of escaping from either side that I just have no control of. Um, so th these are a few kind of tick triggers and things that might make them better or worse. Uh, they don't all, they don't all um, apply to everyone. Really. So like some of these really help me, some of them don't help me at all. Yeah, so mine is exercise, distraction, so Game of Thrones is my distraction, anything Westeros. <laughs> so the book and the TV series is actually one of the first things to keep me calm, like when I got really bad. So I've got everything, I've got the history. And then if I have a tick attack, it's right, put on the music, <laughs> you know, music sort it out, nice. like, and then, yeah, it's, I mean, the thing that makes me worse, maybe it's stress and tired. Me, kind of any heightened levels of emotion, so it's not just stress. Like, if I'm really excited, then my ticks get a lot worse. If yeah. I get really stressed, then my ticks are worse. But mostly excitement, I think, for me, if I get very excited about yeah. something. To be fair, that happened to me at Thor Park. I'm yeah. telling everybody that my mate in the yellow hoodie was uh, like selling crack cocaine <laughs> in, the middle of the, in the middle of the queue. And I was just because I was excited to go on high. Yeah. <laughs> and then yeah. I was just like, oh, okay, that was new. Yeah. So I was going through an airport recently, I went to um, Finland with Threats Action, which was an incredible experience. But penis, um, wow. as I was going through the airport, I was trying so hard not to shout, no, I have a bomb, I'm on drugs. And bomb! Penis! <laughs> Sorry. 
and uh, it just made my ticks worse because I was trying so hard not to tick those inappropriate things. All right, so the cause of Tourette's, no one knows exactly what causes it or how to prevent it, but there's a few like little, we, we believe it's because of this, we believe it's because of that. Um, um, yeah, so it's research points to the, uh, I'm going to pronounce this wrong, basal ganglia. Um, um, but the tits coprolalia is kind of pointing towards the amygdala, amygdala maybe, I don't know how to pronounce that, yeah. but yeah, because um, that kind of controls the anger and aggression part of the brain. Um, they think there's kind of damage to that which causes the swearing. Penis. Comorbidities. Massive part of Tourette's that people yeah. don't think about. Oh. Do you have anything to kind of add on comorbidities? Um, well, my OCD with my animals, mm -hmm. autism, yeah, anxiety, yeah, anger, definitely. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, sensory processing difficulties and sleep problems. I mean, I'm doped up to the max, like oh. every evening with every sleeping two weeks in the hospital. I don't sleep properly. Yeah. Right. But yeah. I, I just want to say, like, one of the misconceptions is that people think that <laughs> with your actual tick in your sleep. But actually, it's the trying to get to sleep yeah. that stops you from, like, when you're ticking, that stops you from going to sleep. But when you're actually asleep, no, you, you're not meant to tick. Oh, if you so do, you have like signs of epilepsy. Yeah, it's signs of epilepsy, epilepsy oh. brain tumour, oh. and all that. Like, so, but there's, there's many things that you yeah. need to look out for. <laughs> wow! <clears throat> right, myths and misconceptions. These are all things that I've heard about Tourette's when I've said, oh, I've got Tourette's. And people go, no, you don't, because. and then. You know, everyone with Tourette swears, or only children have it, but it's really rare. Another thing is when I say I'm disabled, people are like, no, you're not, you've just got Tourette's. I'm like, oh, actually, <laughs> that, that's kind of why. My brain is rewired a hell of a lot yeah. different. But, yeah. So? Yeah, yeah, the mis um, misconceptions doesn't help with online these days either, to be completely yeah. honest. Because there's some people just spreading complete misinformation yeah. about it. Like you know, putting up videos and going, this is threats, and actually it's more ADHD yeah. focused. And then oh. people end up basing what they've seen on that on, on, on you. Yeah. So, oh, well, you won't have it because I've seen so and so have it acts like this. Yeah. And it's so like, well, no, Tourette's is like a fingerprint, it's completely unique mm -hmm. to everybody because you know, everybody's brain is different. Fuck that works. <laughs> weird, weird, weird. Right, here are things to say and what not to say to people with Tourette's. Uh, the, all of the things under what not to say are things that really annoy me. Yeah. Especially the last one. Working in a pub, I get a lot of overused and unfunny jokes. Like I say, oh, I'm really sorry I've got Tourette's. So I'm like, oh, you know, I really want to go into a cinema and pretend I've got Tourette's so just so I can swear the whole way through the film. And I'm like, that's no, why. No. <laughs> you wouldn't, like, if someone came up to you and said, oh, I've got cancer, you would say, oh, you know what, I, I have to pretend great. that I've got cancer so that I can no skip the queue or whatever. <laughs> Don't use my disability as, no, a, as a punchline of jokes. It's a thing, it still is, isn't it? It still is a punchline of every joke that's out there. Yeah, it's the only. Or, or my, my worst one is, well, I get Tourette's on game days. Yeah. Like, you know, I'm shouting at the pitch and swearing and it's like, what the heck, you know. Tourette's is the only disability that every comedian ever thinks they have the green light to, to mock. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> The good things to say, if you meet someone with ticks, those are very good ways to kind of start a conversation. Um, I've had people come up to me, like in the pub, and say, okay, so you've got Tourette's, is there anything I can do if this happens or if that happens, or how do you want me to respond? So I forgot to say at the beginning, actually, I don't mind if people laugh at my ticks. Um, that's just right, as long as you're laughing with us and not at us. Yeah. Um, penis, but well. obviously read the room. If I'm on the floor having a tick attack and I say something funny, maybe don't laugh. But if I'm just happily talking and I say something funny, I don't mind if people laugh. Um, but everyone's different, so it's a good good way to. You can normally measure on people's um, body language yeah. when you meet people. So on this slide, I thought that we would just talk about penises, well, not penises, talk about our uh, the different ways that we've been treated. So for me, I'm on a few medications. I'm on aripiprazole for my tics, which is an antipsychotic. Penis, I get Botox injections in my face, the back of my neck, and my back to reduce tics in those areas. I'm not sure why it works, but it does. <laughs> um, I've had CBIT therapy for my tics, so that's where I learned how to suppress my tics safely for a very short amount of time, but still it helps a little bit. 
Um, I have diazepam as an emergency medication for severe tic attacks, and I'm on codeine for the pain that I'm in because of my tics. Okay. Yeah, and I'm pregabalin, which is a huge central nervous system depressant and everything like that. Duloxetine, antipsychotic. Atazepine, antidepressant. Cytopine, antipsychotic. And then the lorazepam, zolpiprene, and um, well, safety medications from when I have my, my tic attacks because they're on the severe end of the scale. So it takes a lot to need to. And then what's not on there is the ambulance that needs to be called. Yeah. Then I need to be administered gas and air. And if that don't work, I need to go to hospital to be administered more, more gas and air. It's a lot, it's a lot that no, yeah. one, no one thinks of when, oh. when we say Tourette's. No one realises what goes through. No, they don't. They, they just think it's a funny thing that's on TV. Yeah. Like another thing that I haven't mentioned is I have a lot of issues with food because of my Tourette's. Um, before I was medicated as much as I am now, I couldn't eat a meal without having a tic attack where I would have a lot of self-interest tics. I would hit myself, I'd strangle myself, I'd pull my hair. It would take a lot of first aiders to kind of <laughs> hold me down, as I'm sure some of you remember. <laughs> um, but since being on these medications and having these treatments, my tic attacks are a lot better. And I've got my emergency medication for when I do have one, which stops it before it gets too bad, which is great. Jesus. Right, oh. This is the, uh, the last kind of informative slide. Not all tics are Tourette's. <coughs> so these are the diagnostic criteria for other tic disorders. Um, I'll give you a second to kind of read through those. <coughs> Toasters. Um, but yeah, Tourette's. Tourette's isn't the only fuck. The only cause of tics. Yeah, no. The, yeah. That's the thing, isn't it? Tourette's. The tics are the symptom of Tourette's. Tourette's, Tourette's isn't just tics. Yeah. That's what I want to kind of say. So, but yeah, any questions? So have you found that they've been helpful in kind of supporting you? Yes. Um, is there anything they've done that you would recommend rather than the... um, Yeah, so for me, my employers have been very good because I've got, I've got a functional neurological disorder as well, which causes seizures for me. So whenever someone starts working at the pub, because I work, I work in a pub, whenever someone starts working there, they are told, I have Tourette's and I have seizures. This is what you do if this happens. So everyone that I work with knows exactly what to do if something happens. Um, I've also got the opportunity to say, I need a break, I need to sit down, and then there's no questions asked, I get that break, I get to sit down. Uh, whereas other places I've been have said, oh, you know, do you really need it, do you really need that? And then I clapped, and I'm like, okay, maybe she did. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but there's, they've been really good, and the college especially. When I was here, I needed a lot of help. I needed scribes in my lessons, <laughs> I needed LSAs, I pretty much need to be supervised constantly, and there's no way I would have got through my education without that help. Very grateful to this college, and I always say that when people say, "You know, what accommodations have you got?" So, yeah, most of the college have been incredible. Yeah, I don't have an employer. I, I work for myself. <laughs> <laughs> I run a turtle rescue with my partner. So, if I found something that sort of helps me day in day out, and yeah, I now get to work with turtles. So. Cool. Well, that's that's one. Yeah, so. uh, any other questions? Yeah. Um, I've got a question about like, is there obviously your art from earlier yeah. was really amazing. Is there something that you find that is really helpful where maybe you do take less than you're doing it? Something like a hobby, like poetry, really? Just like, is there something where you feel like that's really helpful for you? So, for me, anything creative, so doing my makeup, painting, playing guitar, singing, any of those things, they really help my tics and help me calm down. <laughs> I'm actually a full stow. Um, but yeah, anything, anything creative. Sometimes I find that my vocal tics increase a bit because my motor ones reduce. So it gives my body a nice break, even yeah. if my vocal cords don't get one. Nice. Yeah, no, I'm very quiet if I go to the gym, even though I have tipped to a very surprised young lady that she has a nice ass. <laughs> so I, I was on some sort of like machine and she's bent over and I've got a nice ass. And I'm like... <laughs> and then, yeah, she turned around and I was like, I have Tourette's. And then she was like, oh, okay, no worries. <laughs> but um, <laughs> I was like, Jesus. Um, well, I'm gay as well. But also, yeah, just working with my turtles. I love them. Mm -hmm. They're... I'm actually a toaster. What? I'm actually a toaster. Oh, toaster, nothing. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I, I, when I'm with my animals is when I'm the best in the car. So if I'm not with them for too long, like say I'm away a bit of a space of time, I start to get aggy and itchy and I need to get back there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Hello. Oh, yeah. Increase in tick disorders recently. Um, and my daughter's 
suffering as well. And she said a lot about TikTok, mm. um, about watching people with tics triggers. Is that so in experience? Basically, the whole rise in tics isn't a rise in Tourette's, it's a rise in functional tics. Mm. So functional disorders can be triggered by trauma or they can be triggered through, like if you're more susceptible, from what I understand, if you're more susceptible to developing tics and then you watch someone with tics, then you might develop them yourself, but you haven't developed Tourette's, you haven't developed like that neurological condition that can't be reversed. And it can be helped with therapy and that kind of thing. But there is some evidence to suggest that watching other people with tics can induce tics. Well, but I mean, it's very different. If you watch me and you, we've been bouncing off each other yeah. today, so since I've got here. And um, there's, a, there's a show recently with Scarlett Moffat that I was on, and I'm not too proud of it, to be fair, because they made out that people were catching Tourette's through TikTok. Now, the thing is, is, you know, there, there was a, a doctor on there who got it right. He said, when, like, you know, when you were at home, when COVID happened in lockdown, the boys had their games consoles to go on, play and socialise. Whereas a lot of young girls, they don't go on games and all that lot. So they're flicking through TikTok and then they find, ah, oh, right, you know. And then it's, it's sort of like, it, they, they're starting to see it as a new mass psychogenic thing of like, um, and the best way I can describe it is back in the ancient times, um, France had a dancing plague and nobody knew why. And this dancing plague actually ended up, I know it sounds very brutal, yeah. it ended up, ended up killing people through exhaustion but they just needed to go out and dance. And they don't understand where it came from, it wasn't viral. It's just this, this mass hysteria almost. Yeah. And that's what they're kind of leaning to. But what I will say is, it doesn't make what they're going through or the people that are genuinely having this rise in ticks any less valid than anyone else. So, but what what my, my issue is, is where people jump straight to it's Tourette's. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, I, I know somebody whose kid suddenly has developed developed tick disorders and they are going, oh, here's leaflets and Tourette's and all that long. She's like, but it's not Tourette's because he's only yeah. just started. I want mm. to see about other tick disorders yeah, that maybe be. Like I found that because neurologists have had such an <sighs> influx of people with ticks that they're handing out Tourette's diagnoses it's like they're just candy, yeah. just keep giving yeah. them out. And I've had people say, like when, I, when they say, oh, you know, what, what do you need to be diagnosed with Tourette's? And I say, oh, you need motor tics and vocal tics for more than 12 months. And they go, oh, well, I had tics for less than 12 months and I was diagnosed. I'm like, well, you shouldn't have been. No. <laughs> you know? Yeah, it's just sort of, yeah. it's getting a bit much. Yeah. I normally saw my neurologist every four times, well, like four times a year, every quarterly. I'm not seeing him now, and I saw him February. I'm not seeing him now until the 20th of December because he is that backlog of everything. And like I said, when one out of those 20 kids that he gets uh, referrals could be a true Tourette's diagnosis, but everyone has to go through that same yeah. procedure to get to where it is. So it's just it's causing fuck tons of issues. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Can sort of hit during puberty. Yeah, well. it can. It can mm -hmm. start later. So for me, I had mental tics from a young age. I had very minor tics, uh, vocal and motor, from age about 12, 13. But mine got really bad when I was 17 after I donated blood, and the blood donation caused a seizure, which was my first seizure ever. Um, and then that seizure was a traumatic event, which triggered my tics to get really bad, and that's when I was diagnosed. Um, so yeah, tics interact if they normally start in childhood. They can start in adulthood. There is such thing as adult onset Tourette's, but it's a lot more rare. If you develop tics in adulthood, it's a lot more likely to be something else. Yeah. So, yeah. Supplementary question. So you talked also in your slides about it coexisting with other neurodiverse conditions. So if you had those other neurodiverse conditions, potentially, I suppose, as an adult, perhaps it, yeah, I it mean, might be more... There's a lot of people who have had like OCD and then as a child been diagnosed with like OCD ticks or anxiety ticks. Yeah, and, and anxiety ticks aren't real. No, just to let you know, right. just like there's no such yeah. thing as anxiety ticks. Um, it just anxiety helps. Well, increases not helps. Other it increases tic other tick disorders. So mm -hmm. when people are have anxiety ticks, nine times out of ten, I'm like, I actually have anxiety makes it worse. But um, 
so I can't remember if that is. <laughs> My brain went dead. <laughs> um, I've oh yeah, no, that was it. Um, so everybody can have these OCD, ADHD, and all that lot. Um, like I said, there, there is a potential that maybe they could have had tits or what, something when they were younger, but nine times out of ten, we have the OCD, the ADHD, and autism because it's all combined into one big thing. Whereas you can just have a standalone OCD, you can just have a standalone anxiety disorders and, mm -hmm. and all that. Lot. So it's it's an iceberg that if you're willing to go down and have a look, then it's really interesting. But um, it's the best way I can sort of describe it is yeah. like, you know, you can have just isolated cases of OCD, but unfortunately with Tourette's, I have OCD and yeah, yeah, everything just sort of ties in you just got to kind of put it on a massive iceberg. So the tits are like the tip of the iceberg, but as we know, when you look underwater, the iceberg is huge. So it's, yeah. it's sort of like, that's the best way to describe it. Penises. <laughs> Anything else? I suppose one obvious question is, why silly as opposed to other words? Or, yeah, uh, this is the thing. I, I think that's the interesting thing. Yeah. Um, say that it's just because with, with Tourette's, it's the suggestive, it's the what you shouldn't say a lot of the time. Yeah, I'd say it's a naughty part of your brain, like, you know, mm. sort of just playing around. And a lot of people, I, I don't get it, I don't get why I swear oh. all the time, or derogatory comments will come out of my mouth, yeah. or I even get upset when I'm cleaning out my turtles and I say, behave yourself, or it'll be turtle soup. I don't like telling them they're going to be turtle mm. soup, they're not. <laughs> but like, wow, well, it's... It's almost like you're trying to repress, yeah. Yeah. and that's why it comes out. Yeah, yeah. so it was like, you know, the back, the, the Paris bombings, I couldn't go out for two days because I'm shouting Allah Akbar, or, you know, the, <laughs> the Manchester bombings, like, you know, you should have got Ariana, Ariana and all that lot, and it's just it's things like that, and I'm just like, I can't do it. For me, with the swearing, I think it's because I know oh. I could say anything and it's completely out of my control, I worry more about saying, mm -hmm inappropriate things which I think is why they then come out more because the anxiety makes it worse but I, I can't talk on behalf of everyone yeah um, it's just it's the weird <coughs> thing I mean, there, unfortunately there's not enough funding in, into looking into it so nobody really understands you just end up becoming like a little guinea pig half the time for your neural group yeah. but <laughs> I was just wondering what you actually telling me about oh. how frogs is one of the things yeah. you what you, you, you um, think you said yeah, so for me, one thing I find really interesting is how literally anything can be a tick. People often say, oh, well, you don't have to that, that tick looks really fake. There's no such thing as a fake looking tick because anything can be a tick. Yeah. So for me, at points in my life, I've studied French, German and Latin, and I now have ticks in all three of those languages, even though I, have, I don't remember how to speak mm -hmm. any of them. So at a point when a lot of my ticks were about frogs, I randomly said, is the word frosh? And I was like, what does that mean? And I googled it and it means are you a frog in German and I had no idea where that came from I didn't know that I knew that but it was somewhere in my brain so it came out as a tick so you know, literally anything could be a tick as long as you've been exposed to it at some point in your life so people again with the coprolalia with the swearing they say oh well you only say that because people around you are saying or because you say it really often why are you saying those words why are you around people who say those words like, no literally I just need to have been exposed to it once I need to know of its existence I call it the tick library yeah. Like, you know, when I get an outburst, my brain's just going through this library in my head. Yeah. Like, going, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a weird thing. Like I said, why, why would I come up with crickets on your clip or, like, you know, ants in Australia? Yeah. I'm like, it's, it's, my house. Yeah. <laughs> Put it in my bathtub. It's like, well, I don't understand. But, I mean, I have DID, which is obviously dissociative identity disorder. I have that other part of me. But, um, like, I wouldn't class Tourette's as another person I don't know no, it's because it's part of you and, and people have got to understand that and then once you start putting a label on it even more it starts to become more of a distraction if you know what I mean so all I will say is just to make sure that when, when when you do meet people with ticks or Tourette's is that it's them mm. but and, it's the part yeah. of them that they can't control exactly. it's not a different person yeah. but it's I, I, I don't like people that name their ticks, if no, you know I what I mean. <laughs> I it's so it like... Some people, they call their ticks, you know, Harry or whatever. Um, just to kind of tell, let people know that it's a separate, it's separate from them. They don't mean it, it's not them saying it, which I understand. Because that's how I explain it to them. I say, yeah. you know, it's a separate part of me, but it isn't a separate person. 
Yeah. yeah. It is completely, completely out of uncontrolled, yeah. unfiltered. <laughs> <laughs> I had a question. Um, um, I'm an ESOL teacher, so um, uh, speakers who have a, a language other than English as, as their first language, and we often see it's much easier for them to take risks if they're more of an extrovert personality. And I'm thinking, if you're living with Tourette's, if you were naturally a more extrovert person, that would probably enable you to kind of deal with it slightly more easily and be a bit more, oh, sod it, that's the way I am. But, but we're not all extroverts. No, 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 and so sick. for some people, is it, do they experience it as even more of a, a well, challenge? When I was younger, I was very much an extrovert. I wanted to go out and like, and then when it all got a bit worse during my uni years, um, I sort of became more of a recluse and I didn't like it. Whereas mm -hmm. now I'm very much, like you say, sorry, it's a part of me. People around me have got to deal with it. If they don't like it, they can move 10 feet that way. But like, you know, that's not an issue. Um, but it does, a lot of people that do have, like, you know, they can be introverts and they're very, it, it can close them off even more, mm -hmm. and it can close a lot of people off because of the, you know, the stigma around it, the misconceptions, the myths, and all that. Lot. That that's the main thing that keeps people indoors with threats. Yeah, I'd say the most common kind of reaction when you develop fits is that you kind of shut yourself away. You you get more introverted because you're embarrassed that you don't want to go outside. You don't want people to judge you. You don't want people to look at you. Because that's the thing, you are always the centre of attention when you go out in public with dress because there's always people staring at you, wondering if you're on drugs, all of this kind of thing. Right. I've, had, I've had people refuse to get on buses with me because they don't want to catch what I've got. But for me, I, the opposite actually happened. I used to be very introverted. I didn't like going out, I didn't like speaking in front of people. But since developing Tourette's and knowing everyone's looking at me, I thought, well, you know what, if they're looking at me, I might as well give them a show. <laughs> so, I mean, a lot of people probably oh. remember when I was at college, I dressed in very extravagant outfits, because if people were gonna look at me, I'd rather they look at me and remember me for something other than my tics. Mm. So look at me and think, wow, that outfit is weird. And think, wow, that girl is weird, she must be on drugs. Well, yeah, see, yeah. my dad, what he does is if my tics are getting, I'm 27 years old, and he still does it to this day. <laughs> If um, I'm out shopping with him and my tits get very loud, my dad will go into the next aisle and repeat my tits at a louder vestibule. So it takes the attention off of me and puts it onto him. So that sort of helps. Um, but no, that was the best, it's sort of like the best thing, isn't it? Yeah. Like, if you can distract it and get away from it, then you can. But again, like I say, nine times out of ten, it's got to be down to the individual to turn around and go, well, I know you've got Tourette's, but you can come out if you want. Like, you know. Sort of things like that. Yeah. <coughs> wow! I think we're about done. Anyone got any more questions at all? No? Thank you so well, much. <laughs>